We're not done with the rent. Kanye West. I wake up. I'm not big on Instagram. Uh, I have not been able to access my Facebook account since I moved to Florida because the verification code that it keeps texting me is going to my old cell number, which I don't have anymore. So I can't even access my own Facebook account. But my goodness, um, that is not of any significant loss to my psychological and spiritual well-being. So I'm not on Facebook and I haven't been on Facebook in four months. Uh, not really on Instagram. So I didn't see what Ye or Kanye messaged, uh, Instagram posted, you know, what he posted on social media on Instagram that got him yeeted from Instagram. I'm on Twitter today and I see Cenk Uyghur, Uyghur, Cenk Uyghur, Cenk Uyghur uh, saying that Kanye declared a war on the Jews. Now, I read that. Kanye declares war. And I think the declares war was in quotes. Kanye West declared war on the Jewish people is I think how it was phrased. And I'm like, okay, something, something doesn't make sense here. Would Kanye West declare war on, let's just say a good portion of the family of the man that he is now vocally supporting and taking heat for supporting? Or maybe does he blame everything uh, that is going on on the Jewish side of Donald Trump's family? I don't know. I hear it. And I start to say, mm, okay, maybe Kanye West did declare war on the Jewish people. So I went to find his, 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 the impugned post that got him yeeted from Instagram. And we're going to read it, people. We're going to read it and see if this gets yeeted from the YouTubes. Kanye West, who last week wore the White Lives Matter shirt, White Lives Matter shirt, with Candace Owens, Bear almost broke the internet. And everyone accusing me now of simping for Kanye. I said, yeah, that's a deliberately provocative shirt. I understand the point he's trying to make, but I would not, if I'm trying to make that point, prioritize any one race, religion, or ethnicity. I would have gone with an All Lives Matter shirt. I understand what Kanye is doing. A black man wearing a White Lives Matter shirt with a black woman, Candace Owens, uh, as a big middle finger to the BLM movement, which people are now starting to truly appreciate, is somewhat, somewhat, somewhat corrupt. It's, it's not necessarily living up to uh, its name or its uh, purported raison d'être. So last week he wears the White Lives Matter shirt. And I said, okay, provocative. I wouldn't do it. I think it would have been better off with a All Lives Matter shirt. But I'm not Kanye. For good and for bad, I'm not Kanye. Uh, but that was my position on that. Somewhat critical. Uh, you know, some people want to push the envelope, uh, push the limits, and, and, and understandably so. Uh, you know, you, you, don't, you don't rock the boat by not moving, so to speak. It's a stupid expression. Anyhow, so that's the backdrop of the context. I go to get Kanye's Instagram post. I just took it off the screen here because I'm an idiot. Um, and I read it. And I want to say... I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read it to everybody here. This is Ye Kanye. I don't have the date of this, but it was a couple of days ago. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going Death Con 3 on Jewish people. The funny thing is, I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone whoever opposes your agenda. It's not clear what he means by this tweet, but it's interesting. <laughs> now, I, this is what is, it drives me nuts. I went for a jog and I'm like, I'm trying to think of an analogy for what it's like to try to have a nuanced, thoughtful discussion on Twitter. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm jogging. I'm jogging. I got a gnat in my eye while I was jogging, which really annoyed me. But I'm just sitting thinking, trying to have a nuanced, sincere uh, uh, exchange on Twitter it's like trying to use a wasp nest as a pillow. It's like trying to skinny dip in piranha infested waters. It's like trying to brush the hair of a polar bear. I can't think of a good analogy. It's like trying to have a discussion with a child thinking the child is gonna understand. It's frustrating. It's like trying to thread a needle with a dry, frayed piece of yarn. 
You think it's possible. Conceptually, conceptually it is. But two hours later, you've realized that you've wasted your afternoon and you've got horrible blisters on your fingers for the attempt. I don't, we don't need to agree or disagree with Kanye's tweet per se. I, I disagree with the tweet in its essence. The question is, disagreeing or agreeing with the tweet is one discussion. Before you can even get there, you got to understand what the tweet means. And so I want to understand what did Kanye mean by this tweet? Is this tweet an open call for war on Jewish people? I didn't know what DEFCON or DEFCON 3 is anyhow, but a defense command. So it's like, it's like getting ready to go to war. Did Kanye West, a man who publicly supports Trump, Trump's family, for those of you who don't know, I believe his daughter converted to Judaism. His son-in-law is Jewish. His grandkids are Jewish. Um, is he declaring war on the family of the men that he is publicly supporting and publicly taking heat for supporting? Probably not. If we, it, not a question of wordsmithing, not a question of simping, as some people say, not a question of defending Ye because he's a member of the tribe. Someone accused me of defending Kanye because he's a member of the tribe. And I said, you're accusing me of defending someone for a, an arguably anti-Semitic tweet on the basis that he's a member of the tribe? The first question is, what does he mean by the tweet? Is it an open declaration of war on Jewish people? Or is it possibly, arguably, potentially, a stupid tweet that should have stayed in his draft box, but an attempt at a joke, an attempt at uh, being edgy yet again? People are saying, how much clearer does it have to get? Viva, you idiot, simp for Kanye West. Shame on you. You're, you're a disgrace to your community. He said, I'm going death con three on Jewish people. How much clearer does it have to get? Well, there's a part of construction of statutes, interpretation of laws. Um, you have to read things together. They say the legislator doesn't speak uh, not to say anything. In French, it's le, le legislateur ne parle pas pour ne rien dire. Lawmakers don't speak to say nothing. So if they say something, you have to read something into it. There are two ways to misread something. You can read something into it that's not there, or you can read out of it something that is there. And so he says, I'm, I'm going death con on Jewish people. The funny thing is I can't be anti-Semitic yet, yet. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. Who's he talking about here? Is he talking about Jews at large? Is Kanye West talking about me here? Have I tried to blackball Kanye West? No, and I don't think he's talking about me. Call me a Kanye simp, a Kanye apologist, even though I still think the tweet is, is stupid, dumb, and he shouldn't have done it. He just gave the big middle finger to BLM last week. And now, if you read the second part or the last part of this message before the first, you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. To me, it sounds like he's talking about censorship of sorts. Knowing that he just went, um, I don't know, do we say death con? Know that he, knowing that he just flipped the bird to BLM. He went after the black movement. Part of me thinks he's talking about Wojcicki, YouTube, Zuckerberg, Facebook. And what he's saying now is, I went after BLM last week. Now I'm going after Jewish people. First, I went after the black people. Now I'm going after the Jewish people. You guys tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. Sounds like censorship. That's how I read it. Still stupid. Still going to be exactly the fodder that anybody needs to say Kanye West is an anti-Semite. Kanye West, or they're going to say Kanye West is just, he's, he's, um, He's in, a, he's, in a, he's in an episode now because he's, he's openly manic bipolar and there, they, there are episodes to that. They're going to say he's manic bipolar, he's out of his mind, don't listen to him. Or they're going to say he's, he's an enemy, he's an anti-Semite, yeet him some more. Um, this also illustrates part of the reason why some people are, are reluctant to come out and talk about mental issues because it becomes a reflexive way of discrediting them in the future, but set that aside. To me, it's quite clear what he's doing. He says, first I went after Black Lives Matter. Now I'm going after people who are Jewish people. Watch what happens. That's what I think. And the media, I think, pretends not to understand that. They pretend to read, I'm going after Jewish people in abstractum, as though he didn't say in the last part of that message, you've tried to censor me, blackball me, etc." They can now legitimately pretend not to get the joke and just paint him as an anti-Semite. Uh, but you try to have a rational discussion. 
Um, and then try to understand what someone meant, even if you're ultimately going to disagree with it one way or the other, it's just going to be a question of degrees. And you just can't do it on Twitter. And you end up pulling out your hair, you end up wasting your time trying to respond to responses that you think are authentic, and they're just God, they're not trying to have honest discussion. Um, but that's it. What did, what did Kanye West mean? Did he mean war on the Jewish people writ large? Or did he mean, I went after bl the Black Lives Matter last week and tomorrow I'm going after Zuckerberg, Wojcicki, and Jewish people, and we'll see what happens. They tried to blackball me, and what did they do after that uh, Instagram post? Zuckerberg yeeted uh, yay from Instagram. Instagram. Zuck yeeted yay. Uh, and then you got uh, Michael. I'm going to leave on this. I, I, I can't stand Rappaport. I, I, first of all, I, I never knew Rappaport was Jewish in my life. I didn't know Michael Rappaport was Jewish. I'm not playing this because this is the type of SHIT that will get a video yeeted from YouTube. Didn't know, didn't know Michael Rappaport was Jewish, but he plays the card when he wants to call other people's names. What did he say here? I'm, I'm, I'm up going DEFCON 6 million at Kanye West. And then he goes into a diatribe against Kanye West accusing him of intolerance, told him to go take a shower. I, interpret that the way you want. I just had to pull out an old tweet from Michael Rappaport. Seeing a lot of Jew hating floating around in the US and abroad. I'm not reading this. There are words that I hate. This is one of them. I hate, can we see that? Yeah, I hate this word. I hate it. I hate it when non-Jewish people use it because they use it thinking it's not as offensive as I find it. And I hate it when Jewish people use it. I never knew Rappaport was Jewish, but um, spoiler alert, Rappaport, if you want to dispel anti-Semitic uh, beliefs, don't go around calling non-Jews, uh, what did he say? Dumb, goyim, goat breath, F-U-K-C-S.